Welcome again to another episode of this graphic design class. My name is Lawrence, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be creating a magazine cover design, as you have seen. So this is what we're going to be creating. So let's get right into it. So click on File, click on New. Then we're going to set our dimensions to 8.5 by 11 inches. Let's click this and change it to inches. So let's change it to 8.5 by 11 inches. So make sure it's in portrait. Then we'll click on create. So this is what we're working with. This is what we're working with. So we'll come here and come to view and change and add our guide layout. So this is the guide layout we want to use. So if you want, we're going to be using 100. Control A. Let's take it down to 70. Control A, Control C, and paste them all inside this box here. <coughs> and click on OK when you're done. So come to view and lock our guides. So we're going to be adding our image first. So we'll click and drag our image into Photoshop. So this is the image you're going to be using. So we'll just place it and click on our tick mark. So I'm going to be going to come to our gradient. Let's lock this image first. Click on our background, come to our gradient, and we're going to add a somewhat pink gradient for this design. So let's look for a bright color. Let's use this color and draw a pink gradient all over this. So this is what we want for our design. If you want, you can go darker. This bright one is okay. So let's try this out. Let's just use this one for now. So go back to our move tool. Let's go back to our move tool. Now so we're going to be adding our text. So when you click on your type tool, search for awaken. I'm also going to link this font in the description link so you can download it and install it on your Photoshop to use for your design. So click on awaken. I'm going to type fashion. Let's select all of these and increase the size let's take it up to 36 points okay no that's not enough 72 ah, that's not enough let's click on let's place it first and let's drag it here and increase the size by dragging it from here let's increase the size and position it still we are satisfied with what we have gotten so i'm going to drag this here yeah i'm okay with this click on my tick mark to place it I'm going to change the color of the text. I'm going to pick a color from this lady's clothes. So let's look for a color. Let's go brighter one. Yeah, this is okay. I'll click on OK. As you can see, I've added this text and changed the color. So we'll lock this text too. And I'm going to be adding some text in our work for our magazine because the magazine is not complete except there are some unless there are some details on it. So so there's the text here but i'm going to copy this here copy and come to my type tool back and zoom into this section of my design and click on my and paste this text in it so we don't want this font we want a montserrat font come and use a montserrat bold reduce the size down to the 30 pixels let's take it down to 24 um, 18 then change it to a black color you're done with that click on our tick mark to place it come back to our move tool and place it just directly under here once you're done with that we'll zoom out a bit and keep adding our text come here select this copy it come back to our type tool add another text in this bottom part to so add in this text it's going to place this here and increase the size to a 24 point and click on my tick mark I'm going, to, I'm going to unlock 
this lady here and drag her to the right a bit. I'm satisfied with what I want. You can just, just bring this text size down a bit. Let's give it a 21 pixels. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Drag this here and drag her back here. Okay, I'm satisfied with this. So we'll lock her back. Lock the image back. So I'm just going to be adding our the name of this model. Just going to add in a random name. The name we're using is Jennifer Thompson. And control A. Then when you click on control, you can add drag this you see and click on our click on our tick mark come back to our move tool and increase the size just going to place this here click on our tick mark then we're going to do we're going to reduce line spacing let's bring it down to 48 I think that's too much this is 60. And let's increase the font size to a 72 pixels. So yeah, this is okay. So I'm going to place this here. Click on select all and align it to the center. So this is the center here. So click on select and deselect. We're going to edit this Jennifer and change it to a white color. To a white color. Click on okay. So, as I'm giving it this white color, you will notice that we can't really see this Jennifer very well. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a shape and give it the color. Let's pick this gold color of her skirt. Click on okay and draw a circle behind here. Sorry. <laughs> a circle hold shift click and drag to make a perfect circle once we have that we're going to place it behind the name in the layers panel go back to our move tool and take it up let's lock our text come to this and drag this up Place it also behind our model so as you can see we can now see the jennifer the name the white text very clearly so next we're going to be adding our last text for our last text we'll just come here and copy this text from here copy then we'll lock this image and come and type just click and paste it so this is what i want to add i'm going to make some free ch few changes to this I'm going to make this confident a bit bolder. So I'm going to change the font size. Let's take it up to a 24. Make this make it 30. Yeah, this is okay. So click on Control A. Let's select this two first. Select the dress yourself confident only. And change the line spacing let's bring it down to 24 yeah that's okay then we'll select this how to this text but at the bottom here and change it to a uh, medium italic or let's use a semi bold italic so once we're done with that we're going to click on our tick mark here and we'll change the color to a black color Watching this to the black color, you can see we go, we can barely see this. So we're going to do we're going to place this here. So you can see you can notice that you can't see this dress confident very clearly. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on this image. Let's unlock it first. Unlock it and make a copy of it. Make another copy again. So let's lock this two here. Let's lock them. And select this one here so we selected this one what we're going to do we're going to come to our FX here and change it our color 
I'm going to give it a white fill. Change the color to a white fill and click on OK. Change to a white color. What we're going to be doing? We're going to be creating a clipping mask to this text here. We're going to try and place this white image inside this text. So we're going to right click and press on create clipping mask. So you can notice if you notice this, you can see this is section of this design that is white. So you can see it looks like as if it is just the outline of her clothes that has the white design. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this text and bring it down a bit to avoid the hairlines from showing. And position it perfectly. Let's take this outside a bit and position it here. Yeah, this is okay. Then zoom back out and drag this name down a bit. Let's unlock this. Let's lock this. So I'm going to drag this name down a bit and drag this circle to together with it. So let's get see. I've created a very simple magazine cover design. This is the end of the tutorial. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.